Um, I'm sorry that I haven't uh, put up a tutorial in a while. Um, I've been waiting for my new computer to come through FedEx and it finally got here on Friday I think it was but I've spent all weekend getting all the files off my old computer. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this kind of vintage looking look. Alright let's get started. So we're going to go to file, new, I'm using uh, 1800 by 1200 with a 72 ppi. Let's go ahead and zoom this out a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open a image, a grass close up image. And this effect is pretty simple to do. We're just going to go to colors and we're going to go to brightness and contrast and we are going to turn up the contrast by 20 around 20, 20, 21 that'll be fine and press OK and then we're going to go back up to colors hue saturation and we're going to go negative 10 or I just type it in there negative 10 and we are going to turn the saturation up by 20 so the hue is negative 10 saturation is 20 or 21 press OK then we're going to go back up to colors and then to curves bring this down here so we can see it and we're going to go into the red color and we're just going to make a slight adjustment make a slight little S curve to it and we're going to go to the green channel and darken it up just a little bit move a slight little S curve on that and we're going to go to the blue channel and we are going to go down all the way to the bottom and we're going to move it to about right there and to about right there and press OK and then we're gonna go back to colors hue and saturation and we're gonna turn this down to about negative uh, we could do negative 10 again if we want and we're gonna turn the saturation way down to about negative 30 or 40 I'll go around 41 on mine we're going to press OK and then we're going to go over here and we're going to add a new layer and we're going to grab our ellipse circle tool and we're going to go from the top corner drag all the way down press OK then we're going to go to select uh, and then feather and we're going to f I, for this image I'm going to feather it by 400 pixels and now I'm going to press OK and then I'm going to go to select invert and grab our paint bucket tool make sure it's black and we're going to fill it then press control shift A on your keyboard to delete the selection and then we're going to make another new layer and press OK and we're going to get this dark magenta color which is C118B7 that's what I'm using and press OK we're gonna fill it and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to grain merge and we're gonna lower the opacity by quite a lot I don't know we could go down to about 30 percent then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna lower the opacity of the vignette to about I don't know I'd say about 60 and this is totally up to you you can make this as red as you want me preferably I only like a little bit of red in there in the image but this is how you do kind of like a old-time um, photo on here this photo this works on all kinds of images it just don't, it don't have to be just with grass or whatever this one I made a little bit more darker this one's kinda more saturated which 
you could change that too. You could go ahead and go up to layer and then you could go new to vi uh, new from visible and then you go to colors and then you could go to hue and saturation and you could turn down the saturation of the whole image if you'd like and you get that little flare or that little redness in there and the image a little bit darker it's totally up to you on what you want to do but I, um, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on my new computer test it out and everything and show you guys a pretty cool little uh, old time picture effect now rowdy I appreciate it. I hope you like this video. There will be more to come. If you do, like, subscribe. I will have the um, the GIMP file and everything on my website for download. Go visit. Check it out. There's more free downloads on there. Alrighty. Have a nice day. Thank you.